I've explained how to ventilate 2 by 4, 5 by 5, 6 by 6. But why did I jump 4 by 4? It's not my fault. I just got an order for it, so I decided to share the process with you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, you are welcome. Please consider subscribing by clicking on the subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up to help this channel out. Drop a comment, share with your friend, and turn on notification bell to get notified whenever I drop another detailed video. So in this video, I'll be explaining how to ventilate 4 by 4 closure and how to achieve a perfect middle part. This particular order is from one of my subscribers on YouTube. She ordered for 6 4 by 4 closures and one fonta list. So I've already dropped a video on how to ventilate a fonta. So if you have any interest in that, you can check my page for the video. And here are the materials I needed for the tutorial. You need your net, 4x4 net. They actually come with a line which indicates where you will stop. You need your ventilating pin. You need metallic pen. And you need tape. And here is the building extension I want to use. It's color 1. I've already cut it off camera. It's cut 6. So I picked small pieces out of it and fold it into two. Don't forget to comb it so that it will be tangle free. Fold it into two. Make sure one end is longer than the other. Then you pinch and twist. You pinch and twist. After that, you use your hand to bring out some hair so that you can see the amount of hair you want to be working with. Place your nest on the mannequin head and use your tipping to secure it so that it will not be pulling up. This first step is not actually about the ventilation but to draw a line on how to get the middle part and how to get the base that will cover the back section. Place your tape on the net and measure one inch from the net. Use your metallic pen to indicate where that stop. That's the base of the hair. I mean the part that will cover the back section. From that line you drew, you mark like triangular form facing the back section. To have a perfect middle part, you remove your net from the mannequin head and fold it into two equal parts. Then use your hand to press the middle part down. And this is how the line looks like when I'm done folding it into two. So I'm trying to move it closer to the camera so that you can see the line very well. After that, you place your nest back on the mannequin head. Use your pin to secure it so that it will not be pulling up when you start your ventilation. So we are going to follow the line that I drew earlier, which is slanted line. Then you pass your pin through the net. Bring out the hair you want to be working with. Wrap your pin through the hair and pass it to the loop. Pass your pin through the net. Bring out the hair you want to be working with. Wrap your pin through the hair and pass it to the loop. That's how you will keep going. So we are using the diagonal method, which is slanted line. So I drew that triangular line at the back to make it easier for me to know the line I want to be following while ventilating. So it's not necessary you draw the triangular line or V line at the back. I just draw that line to make it easier for me to know the line I want to follow. And be careful while picking the hair you want to be working with. Make sure you're not picking too much of hair at once. Two or three strands of hair is okay. Picking too much hair at once in one hole will only make your work rough. It will not make it fast, it will make it rough and it will not look natural. While ventilating the back section, we are not leaving any space. I mean, we are not leaving any middle parts. We won't need to be full as possible so that you can cover the back section very well. And we have to fast all these parts because ventilation is the same. I don't want this video to be too long. so. When I reach the middle part, I will continue the explanation. So before I continue with the explanation, I want to use this medium to thank everyone that has been patronizing my small business. God bless you all. As I the wig, closures, frontal you see on my page that I'm selling, I'm also selling wigging and air ventilation material. 
you can screenshot it and send it to me on whatsapp or if i don't upload what you want you can send the picture to me on whatsapp because i cannot upload everything here i just take small sample and to the person that ordered for this closure that i'm using for the tutorial god bless you i really appreciate back to the tutorial to get the perfect window pass you are going to ventilate a straight line on that line we folded at the beginning of this video I almost forgot recording the middle part video, that's why I did not start this first line at the beginning. But you know it's two lines that make a middle part, so I'm going to start the second line from the beginning. So I'm done with this trace line ventilation here, so next thing to do is to continue your ventilation by following the line we drew earlier, which is V or triangular line. Ventilation is the same, you pass your paint through the net, bring out the hair you want to be working with, wrap your paint with the hair. And pass it to the loop so i have to fast forward this remaining part because we still have a lot of things to explain and i don't want this video to be too long so i'm done with one side here you can see how straight that middle part is so next thing is to ventilate that second straight line of the middle part before ventilating the second straight line you are going to leave two straight lines at the middle part so like i said earlier ventilation is the same you pass your paint through the net bring out the hair you want to be working with wrap your paint through the hair and pass it to the loop and make sure you are not picking too much hair in one hole so i have to fast forward this part too because once you know how to pass your paint through the net and bring out the hair you don't have any problem in via ventilation so i'm done with the ventilation of the second straight line here you can see how neat and straight it is so next thing to do is to ventilate the second base of the hair so ventilating the second base of the hair we are going to follow the line with you earlier which is v or triangular shape pass your paint through the net bring out the hair you want to be working with wrap your paint through the hair and pass it to the loop if you look closely you notice that the middle part starts from the line i drew earlier i mean the line that will cover the base of the hair so we are going to ventilate the back section all through we are not going to leave any parts so that you can cover the back section very well If you are a beginner, make sure you are taking a break. I mean, you should rest. It's not enough to finish the whole closure in a day. Yes, it's true that the more you practice, the faster you become. But if you are forcing yourself when you are tired, you start realizing that you are doing rubbish. So it's advisable to take a break when you are tired. Then you continue when you are done resting. So I have to fast forward this part because I don't want this video to be too long and ventilating the middle part first make it easier for me to know where to stop and where to start. So I'm almost done with your ventilation here. You might decide to change the strand of hair you are using when you get to the front section. Either you change it to one strand or two strands but if you are using two strands from the beginning you can finish the whole process by using two strands or two. So I'm done with the ventilation here. The next thing to do is to make it have that soft swivel texture. Put your hot water in a bucket. Make sure the water is very hot because the hotter it is, the softer the closure becomes. So you dip your closure inside exactly the way I'm doing it now. So I'm putting all the closure in the hot water at the same time. And be careful while dipping it inside the hot water so that you will not burn your hand. When you are done doing that, she will leave it overnight to dry or you sun dry it. After drying it, you place it back on the mannequin and use your tipping to secure it. Then you use your straightener to be straightening it section by section. Make sure the straightener you are using is not that hot. I mean on the lowest heat. 
You can see the type of straightener that I'm using that is not that strong. And this is the final result. You can see how soft and shiny it looks like. Guys, don't forget to add me up on IG at Mina.Beauty. Add me up on Facebook at Mina.Beauty. And you can contact me on WhatsApp too on this phone number you are seeing on your screen. If you enjoyed this video or you learn one or two things from this video, please don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, like this video to help this channel out. Drop a comment if you have any questions, share with your friend and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever I drop another video. See you in my next video. Bye.